Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Unique Tarot. This is going to be messages for the fire signs, Airy Leo Sagittarius, for the last 10 days of February. Okay, if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and also give me a big fat thumbs up. And if you already joined the channel, thank you for your support and make sure to give me a big fat thumbs up as well, okay? So we're going to jump right into it. Also, follow me on my new Instagram, Strictly for Tarot, at Unique Tarot 1111. Thank you. So, Spirit Guides, Angels, Angels, and the White Light, what is the messages for my fire signs? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What is the messages for my fire signs last 10 days of February around the snow full moon? A time of manifestation and wishes coming to it, into it, fruition. Um, reunions of soulmates and twin flames. Okay, new journey journeys, maybe even big purchases. It's always best to make big purchases and sign contracts after the Mercury retrograde. Okay, and that will be over tomorrow. Will be the last day. I think the twenty first is the last day. So tomorrow is the last day of the Mercury retrograde. So if you're planning on buying a vehicle or home or signing any contracts it's a good time to do it after tomorrow monday starting monday okay what's the messages for my spirit for my spirit guys and my spirit guys and um ascended masters what messages do you have for my fire signs aries leo and sagittarius last 10 days of february Around this snow full moon. What can my fire signs expect? Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, please. Give me one card for the overall energy for my Aries, Leos, and Sagittarius. Okay. One card for my Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Last 10 days of February. Thank you. So we have here trust. So trust. Have faith here. And then we have forgiveness. Oh. So let's see fire signs. So you may be wanting somebody's trust and forgiveness the last 10 days of February. Okay. It says forgiveness is there. And if you believe, okay, trust that if you believe, this person will forgive you. So if you've been in negative thought patterns, that's exactly what's going to happen. Okay. Spirit guys, angels, universe, the white light. Oh. What messages do you have my for my Aries, Leo, Leos, and Sagittarius? Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, please. Last two days of February, around this snow full moon. What can my fire signs expect? Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, please. Spirit God's angel, universe of the white light. What message do you have for my Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius? Last two days of February, around this full moon called the snow moon. For my fire signs, please. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. What's one overall message for my Aries, Leos, and Sagittarius, please? One overall card for the message for my fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay. Okay, it says soul family. Calling your tribe. You don't have to do it alone. So I'm going to take that one. Okay. And then it says transformation. Things are changing at a cellular level. Deep healing. Okay. Some It says ever unfolding roads cracked open. It's happening for you, not to you. And priest, how are you being called to step up and lead? So your intuition, break the chain. Yeah, your intuition is telling you to break free of something. You need the initiation, right of practice, crossing the threshold. Yeah. Help us in the supper realm. So your spirit guides are telling you to let something crumble so you can take a faith towards something else here. Fire signs. You can trust that this decision that you're thinking about making is 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 the right one. This person will forgive you. They are, you and this person are a part of each other's soul tribe. You're like twin flames. See those two dolphins? You have a very intellectual connect, um, telepathic communication between the two of you as well. This is a very pure and beautiful uh, relationship. Very intellectual as well. This part is, the person is part of your soul family. You can trust that they will forgive you. Then things will transform with the transformation card. Okay? So that's beautiful, um, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. 
What's the messages for my fire signs? Last 10 days of February, please. Spirit guides, angels, universe of the white light. Um, what's the messages for my fire signs? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Last 10 days of February, February around this snow full moon. What, what can my Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius is expect the last 10 days of February around this snow full moon? What's the messages for my fire signs, please? Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, last 10 days of February, around the snow full moon. What's the messages here, Spirit? For my Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, please, last 10 days of February. Give me one overall card for the energy for my Sagittarius, this Aries and Leo's, last 10 days of February. Around the snow full moon. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, please. There it is. We have change. Wow. Miracle. So expect a miracle here, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Trust that this is a miracle. And then it says breathe in upon a heart chakra. So just breathe in and accept this for what it is because it is a miracle. It says presence and celebrate your life and healing connection and sound healing and star fortune fame. So yeah, you could be healing the connection here with someone because spirit says trust. The angels say trust that this person will forgive you here. Okay. If you believe, trust and believe this person will forgive you. And the situation will be transformed. And it says this situation is happening for you, not to you. It says this person is a part of your soul family. You can trust that. Okay? But this change is a miracle. And this change is meant to happen here. Okay? That's beautiful, fire signs. So what's the messages? One for the romance deck here. For my fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, please, Spirit. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, last 10 days of February, around the snow full moon. What can my fire signs expect? The last 10 days of February, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, Holy Spirit. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Spirit, God's angels, universe of the white light. Honey. What's the messages for my fire signs? Last 10 days of February, around the snow full moon. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, please. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. What's the messages for my fire signs? One overall message for the Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Thank you. We have healing family issues. Wow. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So you really want somebody's forgiveness here. You want to heal a soul family tribe, a connection here. Or somebody that you want a family with here. You want to heal this. You want to change. And I feel like it's going to be forgiveness here. It's going to be a transformation. Okay. Bottom of the deck, deception. Yeah, someone is wearing a false mask in this situation. Yeah, and passion. Somebody's hiding their passion and feelings for someone here. That they can trust that if they open up and tell this person how they feel, that whatever happened, it will be a change here and it will be for the better. Okay, fire signs. So let's get into it. Let's get some clarification done for my fire signs. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. What's the messages for my Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius here? My fire signs. What's the messages for the last 10 days of February around the snow full moon? Spirit, God's angels, universe, of the white light. Messages for my Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, please. What's going on with the Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius? Last 10 days of February around the snow full moon. What can my Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius expect, Spirit? What can my fire signs expect last few days of February? Let's clarify this energy. This healing family issues, trust, soul family, change, forgiveness, transformation, and breathe. With deception. What is this energy for my Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius last 10 days of February around the snow full moon, please? Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. What's the messages for my Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, please?
Yeah, somebody's making a major move towards someone I'm seeing from the bottom of the deck. What's the healing family issue card, Spirit? What's this healing family issue? Queen of Pentacles, so in the death. What is the Queen of Pentacles in the death? Healing family issues. King of Swords. So you can be dealing with a Scorpio. Okay. Or an Earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. A Sagittarius, a Virgo. Okay. I feel like there's been, a, maybe there's a marriage here with the Queen of Pentacles. So that could be a wife, a mother. That somebody's invested a lot of time here in. We have family with the four wands. That somebody doesn't want to invest anymore. They want to end the situation with the death. Ghost it here. But one person may be wanting to work it out. Or maybe trying to work it out. Because there was a lot of time invested here. There's a family, maybe even kids involved. Well, I feel like one person's wanting to walk away while another person's wanting to work the situation out. What's the Queen of Pentacles in the death? Queen of Pentacles in the death? That is way too many cards. What's the Queen of Pentacles in the death? Three of Swords is right here. Yeah, ending. Queen of Pentacles to death in the Three of Swords. Queen of Pentacles to death in the Three of Swords. Yeah, Page of Swords. There may, may be some harsh communication here. Yeah, Nine of Swords, Four of Pentacles. Somebody's holding back and not speaking the truth here. Um, about how they feel possibly here. You have five of swords, mind games. Somebody's holding back the truth here. Absolutely not being honest. Nine of cups in reverse. This is not a wish fulfillment for someone. Someone may be looking at another person outside the relationship here. Okay, but there's a lot of mind games holding back lies being told. Page of Swords, Three of Swords in a relationship. Somebody needs to be honest here. One person may be trying to heal a situation while the other is not. Also, I'm hearing the kids may be upset about a divorce that's happening, that's being discussed, or a separation that's being discussed to them. They may be upset about the situation and the, the maybe the masculine energy is trying to get the forgiveness of their kids because I feel like this this Queen of Pentacles could be a king too, is wanting to end the situation, the death and the three of swords here. Somebody's worried about communicating this possibly to their kids, so they're holding back how they truly feel here, okay? But they're being malicious and malice because really they plan on possibly moving it in a new direction here. Because they don't find this relationship to be emotionally fulfilling here. Could be you or the other person find a sign. What's the trust? What's the trust? What is this trust called? What is this trust card? Page of Cups. What is this trust card? Okay, so the Page of Cups want to come out reverse with the Moon in reverse, the Seven of Swords in reverse, and the Nine of Cups. And the Judgment. So somebody got called out here. Secret came out. Seven of Swords 
in the moon, somebody was not careful and slipped up here. Now somebody feels defeated. Somebody was being manipulative with that page of cups in reverse, being very malicious and evil with the five of swords and page of cups. They thought they were one up in somebody. They were planning on purposely hurting someone with the three of swords and the five of swords. But then, then the truth came out here about a situation. Yeah, somebody seen through the bullshit with the um hermit. Somebody here is very intuitive. They saw through the bullshit with the page of swords. They cut through it. And, and they had seen what this was. Somebody got caught out on their lies. Three of swords, five of swords, um, page of swords, seven of swords. That's a lot of gossip, a lot of lies, a lot of the bad mouthing here. A lot of pettiness, a lot of evilness, but some secrets was revealed here. Somebody was called out on something. Yeah, judgment came down on somebody. The truth came out is what I'm hearing with that trust card. What is this energy? The page of cups reversed, the moon reversed, the seven of swords reversed, the nine of wands. What is this energy? Yeah, page of wands reversed. There's a block. Not being honest, queen of wands. Yeah. This person could... um. Yeah, what's the Queen of Wands? What's the Queen of Wands? Yeah, Queen of Wands is the Devil, the Knight of Cups, and the Queen of Cups. So this is the the other woman here. This Queen, this Water Fire energy here that somebody wants to move toward, but they're in no communication here with. But they want communication. They want to come in and make they're obsessed with this person and highly attracted to them. They look at their pictures over and over again with that nine of wands, page of wands, queen of wands. And they're doing it in secret here. Yes, yeah, six of swords. They want to move toward this fire sign, somebody here. You could be wanting to move toward this other fire sign here. Of, um, fire signs. Yeah, three of cups and reconcile with this fire sign here. Yep. Ace of Wands in the High Priestess. Your intuition is telling you to do this. Or somebody knows that this person wants this reconcil reconciliation in the beginning with this other person. Eight of Pentacles, yeah. They want to work on the situation with this other person or work with this other person is what I'm hearing. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. They want to offer this person commitment here. And then we have the... the um. The King of Wands. So we have the King and the Queen of Wands here with the Page of Wands, the Ace of Wands, the Nine of Wands, the Devil. So there's a very, a lot of attraction here between two people. Twin Flames. Okay? Somebody is wanting, they're watching this person, looking over at this person. Watching this person heavily. Okay? Yeah, Five of Cups. They, they want to apologize to this person. There be no, may be no communication. This person may be messaging you out of nowhere after no communication for a while. What's the soul family calling your tribe? You don't have to do it alone. What is the soul family card? What is the soul family card? What is the soul family card for the fire signs? Okay. Yeah, we have the lovers and the ten of cups. So a twin flame that makes you happy. What is this? Yeah, four of cups in reverse. You feel like a missed opportunity with five of pentacles in the reverse that you want to come out of the cold with. Yeah, you want to come out of the cold from this person. Ten of wands is a burden. Not speaking with this person. Yeah, ace of swords in the chariot. You want to communicate with this person. You want a victory. You want to move toward this person here. What's the chariot in the ace of swords? What's the chariot in the ace of swords? This person has a lot to say here. Yeah, the five of wands. They want to be victorious. You may have a lot of people after you. They want to win. Yeah, they want to reconcile the judgment with this empress Libra energy. Okay? Yeah, because the empress has a lot of suitors. A lot of suitors. Yeah, six of pentacles. Give to this empress. Take her out. Yeah, three of pentacles. Work with her. Yeah, nine of cups. Yeah, I said take her out. Sister, put nine of cups. Celebrate, have drinks. Be with this person, this empress energy here that they find highly attractive. 
highly, okay? They think about all the time the four swords wanted to slip out. Yeah, this person constantly is on this person's mind. They want to apologize to this person. Yeah, two of wands. They made a decision here to take action. Yeah, with the magician toward this person. Manifest this, this person back into the world. What's the what's the change card? Miracle? Yeah, change card. Miracle, new love. What's this change card? Yeah, eight of swords that they have fears over. And maybe even defensive about. And even confused. But Spirit says, you know, yeah, back and forth in their mind about here, stuck about whether to take this new beginning or not. But I feel like they will unexpectedly give you a message about their feelings out of nowhere. What's after the fool? What's after the fool? Yeah, the magician manifesting this new life. Yep. Yep, Ma manifesting. Yep, will of fortune. The Howard Font manifesting this new life, this new commitment, this new journey. Six of Cups with someone from their past that they miss highly here, okay? And that they want to work with. Yeah, strength. They can't, they're very weak to this person. They can't hold themselves back. I said work with an Eight of Pentacles, yeah. They want to build and work with this person. Yeah, this is their wish with the star. And the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. They want to give this person an offer. This King of Cups wants to. We have the King of Cups and the Emperor. They really want to commit to you. They feel like you're the one is what I'm hearing. They're certain of it. Okay, that's beautiful here. That's beautiful last few days of February. So I feel like a lot of twin flame unions are coming in together here. So what's the messages for my water, my no fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, last 10 days of February, around this snow full moon. What are the changes that's happening for my air, my fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, please, spirit. Last 10 days of February, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, my fire signs, please. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, two messages for my fire signs. Last 10 days of February, around this snow full moon. What's the messages for my fire signs, please? Okay. That bottom of the deck paradise. Happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. Yeah. So a lot of fun and dating. Mm-hmm. Let's see. What's the messages for my fire signs? Last 10 days of February. Aries Leo Secretary. Last 10 days of February, please, Spirit. What's the message? Last 10 days of February for my fire signs. Okay. What's the deck? The wrong one? No. Okay. Well, I'm going to take what slipped over or whatever, whatever. Okay, yeah. Love call is right here. That flipped over. What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Dang, I might have had some of these cards. No, they just slipped over. Okay. So this was all came out. So we just gonna take in karmic relationship, feelings, triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go, and loving you. So there could be an end to a karmic relationship here. Okay, because there is a married couple. And there is a twin flame connection here. So we have heart with the key. Welcome in love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together, imperfect. We have um, palm tree, stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, and flexibility. Yeah, they want newness. And to build with this new person, boat, they want to move toward the receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues. We have hammer, sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistence, and working on it. They want to rebuild this connection. Stabbed in the back. After they stabbed you in the back, heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shock, and attack. Yeah. And then lightning, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, and transformation. Yeah. So this person could have stabbed you in the back abruptly. 
you know, or anything. Now they want to rebuild with the Phoenix. New phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, and change mind. Now they have some kind of epiphany. They want to rebuild the situation. Yeah, Grim Reaper can be with a Scorpio. The relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. You may be like, no, I don't want to give this another chance. The butterfly relationship evolving into the next phase, healing the inner child and growth. You may have evolved already from this situation it says girl with a snake empath launch this is paradigm being charged to you being charmed to use enable and boundaries yeah this person was a narcissist and a liar and you may have pulled away from this energy it says love call and then we have love too so love calls someone expresses love and message of love thinking of you and letting you know and then we have love unconditional love self-love oneness passion affection and attraction so i feel like somebody wants to tell you that they love you for the first time and then we have cassette, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over and over in the head. So this person could be trying to think about how they're going to tell you that they love you and that they want this new beginning with you with the Ace of Pentacles and then here go the King of Cups. So yeah, it's about this new beginning, expressing love. They want to be with you. Okay? They could be telling you that they're separated from someone or legal separation from someone or that they want to. Okay? I want to know what the Three of Swords is over here. What's this Three of Swords in the death? In the Page of Swords? What's the Three of Swords, the death, and the Page of Swords? Because it may just be a legal separation, but not a divorce completely. Okay? What's the Page of Swords and the Three of Swords over here with the death? And the Queen of Pentacles. What is that energy? Three of Swords with the Page of Swords. And the death card. Three of swords with the page of swords and the death card. Yeah, tower. Okay, so there is the tower. Okay, and the king of cups. Yeah. What is the tower and the king of cups with three of swords and the death? Yeah, to a family situation here with that ten of pentacles in the higher front. Okay, yeah, King of Swords. Somebody could be speaking their truth with the Page of Swords, King of Swords. Abruptly here, yeah, not a Swords and not in the most genuine way. Somebody's going to try to deliver it. With the King of Cups, somebody thinks they're going to get this King of Cups. Emotional, sweet, but they're really going to get the King of Swords. Straight up front with the King of Swords, not a Swords, the Page of Swords. Somebody's asking for a separation, a divorce. It's just as simple as that. Two of Swords. Okay, and somebody doesn't see this coming. All right. I feel like somebody felt that it was coming, but they just, they didn't see it coming this way, this harshly. It's going to be like an outburst here of emotions here. Somebody's going to just express how they feel, and it might not be in such a good way. So if that resonated, let me know how things go down in the um, comment section, okay? Make sure to hit that subscribe button and give me a big fat thumbs up. Thank you for joining me. Make sure to manifest around this full moon and um be sure to like and subscribe please 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 and i'll see you guys in the next video bye